Think back to the time when you first started drinking, when you had your first night out, and everyone advised you that in order to avoid a hangover, you had to drink a liter of water before going to bed. Why is that? Because apparently, people thought for a long time that hangovers are caused by dehydration. Now, this isn't exactly true. While dehydration might play some role, mostly what happens is hangovers and dehydration actually co-occur together. But even the following day when dehydration recovers, when your body goes back to its normal hydration levels, the hangover actually continues. So what's going on here? Well, honestly, we actually don't know a lot about hangovers. It's only the last few years we've posed some theories. One thing that might be going on here is the body's inflammatory response. So we know that when you drink alcohol, your body produces a huge inflammatory response. And these things called cytokines, which are like chemical messengers, which turn on inflammation in your body as if you almost have a flu. That happens when you drink alcohol. You might wonder, why does a hangover cause anxiety or the fear, as we say in Ireland? I don't know if people say that abroad. Why do you feel mentally shit the following day? You feel foggy, you have cognitive symptoms, you don't feel as sharp. One thing that might be going on is when you drink alcohol, GABA, which is like the, the brain's main inhibitory neurotransmitter that spikes and it causes that relaxation feeling after drinking. And also glutamate, which is the main excitory neurochemical in the brain, which causes you to feel awake, that gets pulled down a bit. And the following day, the brain kind of rebounds and pulls GABA down and spikes glutamate. And you might get this like jittery, out of sync feeling mentally. And that obviously connects to the cognitive symptoms. There's a few other things going on here as well. One thing is called value incongruence. People tend to ruminate or overthink the day after drinking because they might be concerned that they can't or they did things that are not aligned with their values. And obviously the memory uh, issues that alcohol gives or the blackouts, they contribute to this as well. And there's one other factor to have to mention. This definitely is underrated in the literature. It's sleep. So alcohol really, really affects rapid eye movement sleep. It's a really important phase of sleep. It's where you dream and it obviously has benefits for cognition and mood as well. Now, alcohol actually delays the onset of REM, so you get, so REM actually comes later in the night than it usually does, and when you get to REM, you get less of it, and you kind of get these mini wake-ups during the night. So a lot of people think alcohol is like a, a sleep aid, but it's actually kind of a myth, because at high volume, it might help you go, to go to sleep a bit quicker, but the actual sleep architecture is really affected.